on, people? Welcome to United View. Welcome to Flex's View. But I'm not by myself today. I'm joined by Young and, and Anton. We just finished filming on Five, finishing the take on. And I wanted to do this video fairly quickly, actually, because Rob Dawson has been talking about Eric Ten Hag's future. Um, and I thought, why not? You know what I mean? Good to get you guys' uh, views on it as well. Um, according to Rob Dawson, uh, Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos are not convinced by Ten Hag. This ain't the first time we've kind of heard this, is it? Um, but a decision will be delegated to the new football leadership team planned um, uh, planned to be headed up by the incoming sporting director, obviously in uh, Dan Ashworth, and a technical director in Jason Wilcox. Um, he also goes on to say that despite Ineos having reservations about Eric, they the lack of standout candidates that are like definitely better than him um, is sort of giving them an issue as to why they haven't changed him yet. Um, I know this divides opinion. Some some people, look, me and KG have been talking about it. Every, not just me, everyone's been talking about it. Some people are like, listen, he's had a tough season. He's had one good season. Yes, this is a bad season. Let him put this down as a bad season. There's been loads of injuries. There's been a lot of off the field stuff. There's been a lot of naiveties from himself. He's learning at this level. Yeah. Um, the structure's about to change. The way Man United buy and sell players is about to change. Let him work under that. Take him off the transfers. Don't let him have the big war kitty and spend it on Anthony and these types of duds. I get that. But other people are like, no, I've seen enough. You know, tactically, you can't see what Man United's trying to do, et cetera, et cetera. I think so that's the biggest thing. Where are you? I think that's yeah. the biggest thing. I think the 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 common theme that I keep hearing from yourself and, and other United fans are don't really understand the identity of what he's trying to do. Yeah. You know, and I think he's been there what, two year, three years? No, this is his, and this is only his second, second season. Yeah, yeah, he's been there two yeah. years. You should, if you want him to be under a new regime, and I, I accept and get that um, the, the, the regime within the football club has been terrible with the people that have been running it and making the decisions under the Glaciers. I think it's been, and since uh, Sir Alex has gone, it's been terrible, which has played a massive part. However, as a manager, even under that, you should be able to see a philosophy and you haven't. And that's why for me personally, from the outside mm. looking in, he'll have to go, in my opinion. You think, you think Inos will look at that as well? I think, I think you have to. What about the lack of like absolute standout candidates that are better? Or, is, or do you even perceive it as that? No, do you think that? No, there are, there are people. So, although I know Ineos and Sir Jim Ratcliffe has said that he won't go and buy an Mbappe, he won't go and buy, you can buy managers, you know? Mm. Yeah. So why not go and buy a manager and, and, and then do the rest of it? Mm. You know, if I'm Man United, the likelihood, you, the likelihood, if you're Man United, don't wait for somebody to, to, to be... Um, become available. Come, become available. Mm. Go and buy one. Mm. That's what they're doing with all the CEOs and exactly. The, 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 so you might go and do that for manager. Yeah. And for, if you a question yeah, for you, yeah. if you could, who do you go and get? I've said, if 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 Ineos did get rid of Eric Ten Hag, I like um, I like Julian Nagelsmann. Yeah. I do. I feel like he was like really stained and tainted from his time at Bayern. But as you can see, at Bayern is. A very volatile atmosphere yeah, definitely. at the minute anyway um, and they need another rebuild um, and I just think he's I still think he's a top top manager mm -hmm. the Deserby one I don't know but not, he has a style he has a, he has a he has a style, style I just play. don't know if the personality like I know he can be get he can get quite volatile what, quite quickly I'm, I'm not this, sure this, this might be a bit mad and a bit left but do you know who I think would be good. Yeah. Who who's got personality? As long as you say don't say Gareth Southgate no, or, no, or no, Graham no. Potter, no, 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 then no. you can say it. He's got good. He's got good good personality. He's got a good temperament. Plays good football. Go on. I'm gonna get Ange. I'll take mm. Ange from, from from Spurs. I would. Mm. Yeah, but he's only just started his project. You think? So I'd, I'd, I'd go and get Ange. But you're Manchester United, though. I'd go and get, I'd go and get Ange. To, to Ange will consolidate. I can't see that. I would if I would go and get Andrew yeah. because he consolidates. That ain't gonna happen, Anton. He plays on the front foot. You mm. can go and get him. He's got a big presence. Oh, him. What are you saying? You think Man players United love should... him? Players love him. You know? yeah. yeah, but I, just, I don't know. Do you think Man United should change manager? Yeah, definitely. You can't see it with, with Ten Hag. No, I think when Ten Hag come in, I remember Ten Hag coming in. It was the, the way he was playing at Ajax, and he was gonna come in and play this football with United and make you guys play exciting football again. And we haven't seen it at all. Um, 
haven't seen it at all. And obviously, I know there's been other problems behind the scenes and stuff, but his actual job on the pitch, we haven't seen it. There ain't even really even been mad, crazy moments of it. Do you know what I mean? You, you've had some couple of good results, but yeah, I think I think I think it's time for him to go, move on. You, you're changing everything. I think it's got to be a fresh start completely. Yeah, I've I've, I've... <sighs> Listen, against the Chelsea game, you lot know at home, I lost my shit. I did, no, no, no. No, I went mad on the stream. I was going to rip it up, all of it, get them all out from the mat. My head was gone. Yeah. And I don't necessarily, after one game against Liverpool where it was a draw, I don't necessarily, you know, backtrack on mm -hmm. that. Like, I have said many times, like, if Ineos want to start this thing again, completely from scratch, I'm not against it. And... I'm not sort of, I don't think they'll be making a huge mistake. I have said that. Mm. But this is where the kind of on the fence thing comes in, where they, they say in the comments, especially always on the fence. It, because I can see, but I can see why people put forward the argument of a manager can have a bad season. A manager can buy a couple of bad players that doesn't mm. work. We've seen it happen before. Mm -hmm. He had a good first season. Everyone said he did, mm. which he did. He's got that in the bag. And this season has not been a good season. So do any of us look at it and go, well, I tell you what, we're going to change a lot. We're going to change this recruitment. Let's give him a chance under this. Let's see what it looks like till Christmas. Do, do they do that? If they did do that, I, I don't, I'm not sure they'll be making a, another big mistake as well. But I kind surely, of feel in the middle. But surely, like it says, it's the, the decision is going to be left to the football people. And that, and that, I don't, and and that yeah. is what I'm happy and, and, with. And, and this That's is what I'm, what I'm with. saying. It, you're gonna, they're going to look at the fact that, okay, yeah, you can have a bad season, you can have some bad buyers, but hold on a minute. Essentially, what is your identity because we we are failing to see it mm. that's the biggest thing do you know i think i think if it starts working for ten hog if man united start winning games and next season you start well you start winning games i think you start looking if style of play will start coming into it i think ten hog's biggest problem is when the pressure's on it's like he ain't got the answers he doesn't even try to play he just I'm just going to he's try a and... Coach, though. He's a coach, though. Yeah. He's not a manager. He's... But this is... But the, but the, the, huh? but huh? if, but, but, but they, they what? But this is what I'm saying. Like, well, under say, certain well, games, well, if he did beat you, though, under pressure. One, one second, one second. After the 7-0. What? Huh? Yeah, of course you can. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get involved. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait. Okay, wait, wait. You're saying they beat Liverpool under pressure. Yeah. Liverpool lost that game. The same way we basically no, lost... No, still will die in the cup. No, but the same, the same way we basically lost the game in the draw. That we gave, we gave you the draw. Why is it that when everyone else does well, it's like okay, they do well, but when it's Jurgen Klopp, it's oh, they lost. No, bro, you lost the game and you felt. That, but that's criticizing our own guys. You, you lost the game. That's criticizing our own. Are you, guys. Are you saying so, overall? Are you saying overall? You don't feel like Ten Hag has the like answers? Listen, to, listen. To, to, let's to, be to, fair. To, uh, like I said, this is coming from a Liverpool fan, yeah, but yeah. let me just try and be honest yeah, and yeah. unbiased and fair. Yeah. You come to Anfield and got beat seven 0 yes. Any other manager would have been out. Yeah. No, you know that. No, not necessarily. No. Not all the time. Of course not. With Man United under when Rio was playing, we lost like six. Flex, United, flex. Even under Sir Alex, we took a no, lick. Flex, flex, it's true. bro. It's true. I can, and since then, you ain't beat us. I, flex. <laughs> I can name a few managers that's been sacked after getting. But hold on, hold on a minute. You, no, 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 no. You can't say that. You know no. why you can't say that? Because it was seven 0 and we still finished above you. Like it, just, it doesn't matter. We still had a good season. We still won a trophy. No, but no, but it doesn't matter. That, that that seven nil. Do you know what that did? That yeah. kind of like spurred us on for this season. That was our highlight of last what? season. To, in Europe, for that Europa was, League. That was our, spurred us. You spurred you on this season to not beat us once. We're in the tower if race, if bro. I'm, what does it mean? Like if I'm in your share, yeah. seriously. Like, this is why I didn't want him on it. <laughs> <laughs> this is why. I, I'm just. Do you know? What? Actually, no. I've got to go out. This is one of my community. This is not five. I have to remember this, guys. I said to myself, do I want him in this video, yeah. right? What are my community going to say? And I thought, you know what? Guys, it's good to this. I've just finished the video. Everyone's guys. all inclusive. And you know what he said to me? He said, he said, don't worry. I'm going to give my... But then he's coming. Yeah, Joel's coming. No, no, no. But Joel's got in his head, yeah, yeah. By, by getting to him. And the real young'un come out. So do you know, actually, young'un, thank you for your time. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> this is a Liverpool fan. Thank you for your time. Uh, guys, it's been great. I won't be coming back. See you later. <laughs> Make sure on Apple Music and stuff, you stream his stuff. Uh, thank you for your time. We have to get rid of him after. This is the United channel. We can't, guys, because I know you guys would have been in the comments saying, Flex, what? Don't let him. So I had to. I had to. Uh, there you go, guys. Can we go United back to my point, please? So, yeah. <laughs> can we go back to my yeah, point? Yeah, we can. What do you want? What do you want? Get out! <laughs> yeah, let me yeah. get back to my point. You're not the main United of old. We know that. Yeah? Yeah. You've got a new regime. 
new football people coming in and taking care of the football operations. You need somebody who's charismatic, someone who's got the personality, who plays front foot football. But what about Anton? This is like, what I'm saying. But, I'm but saying. What, but they I, thought that about Arteta. I'm just playing devil's advocate here. Arteta had a bad couple of seasons. Couldn't see the vision. Job's too big. This is his first ever job. He did, Arsenal's way too big for him. Are we now saying that after one good season and then one bad, really that Eric, t- Eric Ten Hag... Joel, why don't you think they should get rid of him? I think because For Arsenal's sake. No. No, no, no. Actually, yeah, Joel. No, no. Don't because, no, no. I need a I'm serious being, answer. Because <laughs> I know what you like. I'm being serious. All right. no, I'm saying, yeah, because exactly because of what you said. When we were going through hard times with Arteta, the difference is with Arteta and Ten Hag, you could see what Arteta was trying yeah, to do. Yeah, you can't, you can't I'm really see I'm not gonna it. lie, yeah. I can't really see what Ten Hag's trying to do. But, I give him the benefit of the doubt because of last season, I think the guy should carry on at least till Christmas. I, like, otherwise you're going in that same cycle again. Do you see what I mean? I think, just give him a bit of time, like just a bit of time, to see if that identity... Let's get to Christmas, back. maybe, and Let's see what's... what's that's that's what KG's just, thing. He's like, I'll, yeah, I'll give him till Christmas if I don't see nothing. Yeah, because, see because I'm not being funny. Just, and he's only got one year left. Don't have to give him a new deal. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think... You can't and, go, just, just go and get Ange. You can't. Can. You're buying that, go and buy him. Just go and get Ange. What's going on? He'll sort this all out. I, 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 what's he done? That's, what's he done? That's that's a Spurs mentality. That is. Say, that is. And you're not even Spurs, that's but that's Spurs he's coming. He's put some smiles on faces. Play a couple football highlights. That's good interviews. And now, yeah, because he says, mate. Yeah. What, Tottenham don't play like exciting football. Yeah, but what, we don't even know. Listen, different type. The of season ain't finished yet. Listen, what I'm saying is, yeah, might not get you. I, I, I think, and I think Ten Hag, I don't blame him for trying to bring discipline back. Mm. I think there's sometimes where he's done it a bit. It's a bit questionable. Yeah, yes, I agree. We yeah, I agree. Yeah, but overall, overall, you need. You've gone from Oli, who apparently he was too soft. He's crying yeah. when he gets sacked. You get Ten Hag, and now he's too hard. Mourinho, yeah, he doesn't connect with the fans. So you're saying you've got to stick with something? Stick with something. What about man? the legislation for the players? Like, loads of injuries, can't pick your best back four, main men out loads. I know loads of other teams have had it, but at Man United, it's been excessive. It's going to take a while. In terms of, as, as well, like, players' mentality, like, throwing away leads in the last get... couple of minutes. But we've coached up until a point where we can win the game, and then we throw it away through mentality blocks. Like, Flex. these players need to go. Flex, what it's showing me, yeah, is that, when I see Willy, the centre back, yeah. is it Kambuala? Kambuala, yeah. Kambuala, Congolese oh, so brother. Yeah, he's he, got it. He, he, yeah. Oh, yeah. When he came to uh, the London Stadium, I said he said he was all right. Yeah, you said he's all right. Yeah, yeah. So, and I know you watch out for a lot of academy players mm-hmm. because of your your path. I said Willy Kambuala, Gonacho, yeah. Kobe Manu, um, you guys Hoyland. are both, Hoyland, yeah. but I'm talking more from the academy. Yeah, yeah. There's there's something there. There really is something there. Do you know what I'm coming mm. from? Even some of the boys that you got rid of, I know it's not the same as United, but you can see that there's something yeah. there in it. I think you lot just need to, there's dead wood. There's bare players Which that needs need to, to get go, 100%. Bro. It's just that because of financial fair play yeah. and, and the pressure of Liverpool, um, Arsenal, City, your three biggest rivals, they're doing well. Obviously, there's pressure. He just needs to get rid of that dead wood. And then give him, let and him go him again. Him, that's what I think. So you're saying stick with him? You think so? I don't think he's a bad. You don't turn a yeah. bad coach overnight, you know. Yeah. Like I just think it's like Arteta. He was just afforded time because we just were. We were just like boy. There Anton, is. you're saying make the change. I'm saying make the change on the basis that I don't just don't see no identity of the way he wants to play. And, and you don't he think he do can that. develop it anytime soon? No. And I, I think listen, Ibrahimovic hit the nail on the head. He's a coach. He's a very, very good coach. But aren't Ineos going to ana- and maybe enable a, him to be just that? He's a good coach. Isn't that maybe what he needs? And he's good for young players. The minute you get players with personality... I, I agree with you. But that's he true, no, but that's true. But maybe, no, 100% agree with you, which is why. It's the same when Arteta came in. He got rid of all the big personalities and got went for the younger players, the more hungry players, players that he could be in control of. And Eric Ten Hag, let's be honest, the development of Kobe Menu, the development of Ganacho, a Willy Kambuala... Like, he's brought in Martinez, who we know is good. They're, like you said, there's a bit of a base there. If Ineos come in and say, correct, off tr- get off transfers. That's not your forte. We're going to work with you on a style of play of what we want. We're going to change how we work and enable you to be just that, what you just said, a coach. Not, you're not having it, man. I'm just not having it. Just not. Yeah. I just, okay. I just don't think the way that he, I've seen him deal with people, Yeah. he's not a manager. Okay. And I think too much has happened 
And I'll just strength and there's no way back. Okay, guys, let us know what you think. Some really good points. We have to, so, do you know what? My apologies for even putting Youngin in this. Oh, yeah. He'll be back. Yeah, you know, he's not coming on United View ever again. And you by know the what I mean? Way, <laughs> and by the way, you hear Joe's voice. That's because you were screaming pen, 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 pen <laughs> last night. Yeah, and do you know what? It's good, it's good for Joel to come on here and be honest. You know what I mean? Because Joel's been on Amazon Prime saying about Arteta and stuff. We've seen it. <laughs> right. we've, Receipts. <laughs> Receipts. We, we've seen it. So <laughs> it's the best one. It's the best one. Live on the radio. <laughs> My Instagram post. They said, I, I put up, I did it, I bet it was Saka, by the way, guys. Just, just yeah, we saw. See. Yeah, it's great. And in the comments, yeah. <laughs> In the comments here, someone was saying, someone said to me, did they know you were slagging off the, the, your manager like for the club? I've never the had streets to never forget. a comment so the quickly in my life. Yeah. The streets now never now forget. Now we're trying so. to stay in the mix zone, isn't it? <laughs> mix zone mix Joel. Pass. Mix zone Joel. Mix zone Joel. Yeah, mix zone Joel. Let us know, guys. Smash the like and video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. What's your thoughts on this situation with Tim? Oh, we're out of here. Peace.